Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie here, and I'm here with some Dragalia Lost. Uh, and I'm trying out a new setup, so if you hear anything weird um, with audio or if there's something like not 100% like right in terms of audio, um, blame it on that. I'm still trying to learn for this. And with that said, today's video is about a very special unit. That's right, it's Halloween Men. So, if you seen my video on it and you've seen some of the videos leading up to this video specifically dragalia related um i did not have a halloween mim it actually took the brand the the the, the two free multis that were the weekend and then 30 of my tickets and then an additional the um the nightmare um event that gave you a free multi ticket i used that and i was finally able to get a uh, mim i said one more pity break and then it's often saving for mega man and then i ended up getting Mim, and then it also turns out that Mega Man's not getting a <laughs> a unit summon banner, so it ended up being all right in the end, which is good for me because that means I can just save up for Gala Banner now. But that's basically my story about how I was able to finally pull her, and now I'm finally able to do a video showcasing her stuff. And I'll also be trying to do something different with showcasing as well, trying to figure out the best way to show off a unit. So let's first look at this. Ignore this because this her weapon isn't ready yet, so I don't have her max weapon yet, but I do have. Charming Trick, level 3, deals uh, flame damage to the enemies directly ahead and creates a debuff zone that lasts for 10 seconds and reduces the defense of enemies inside of it for 15% by 15%. And then Tempering Fury increased the strength of flame-tuned adventures in the team by 20% for 15 seconds and activates Dream Boost for 15 seconds. During Dream Boost, the user's critical rate is increased by 5%. And then because she's at um, full mana circle 50, she has crit damage 30%. That's the entire team gets 30% crit. And her abilities are Flame Worm, Flame Worm Sweet Nature 2, reduce its susceptibility to burning by 100% when shapeshifting. Mim tran will transform into Brunhilda regardless of what dragon she is equipped with, and her attack will increase when shapeshifted by 15%. Her stun resistance is at 100%, and she has Draconic Dream 2, which increases the defense while shapeshift by 100% when the Dream Boost effect is active. Add 20% to the modifier, apply to damage, win in dragon form. So. Let me see, that works with this one right here. So you would in, you would want to use uh, this and then go dragon is what I'm going to guess from all this right here. Yeah, so. And then I currently have on her Cerberus and then I have two the two axe skills. I'm not sure, excuse me, I'm not sure exactly the best setup for Mim in terms of Prince. So I'm trying to kind of just going generic axe. Um, the kind of bummer is that I think you would actually probably want something that's like increases um, skill time because these two are all focused on getting her more skill damage, but she, only one of her skills actually deals damage. And this will be the team heading into this. Um, as you can see, I'm having her with Lowen because I realized that every time I try and showcase a unit, the entire team kills the boss super quickly. So here we're going to go into Dragon Trial here. We're going to go here, and then I'm going to show him off this way. And I put in Lowen for the healing. I'm also going to put in Marcus, so this is going to be 100% a showing of what she does. Now, this is also unfortunate because the first unit that gets this brand new showcase is 100% about getting the entire team crit boosts. So, we'll see how this goes. Now, because she has 100% uh, stunning uh, debuff, that means that this dragon right here is not going to... I need to turn this off. <laughs> I'm... I'm in grind mode, and you can tell by that. So let's see here. Okay, go here. I'm doing a bad job protecting my teammate. Poor Lowen. Lowen is very good, but also Lowen is not. Um, he can be hurt by... Um, uh, he can be stunned, which is unfortunate. But hey, come on. Focus on me, dumb dragon. There we go. So her first skill is going to be able to show up right here. Use this right here. That means he's going to be able to take more damage while inside this. And then, of course, he immediately backflipped out of the damn zone. So let's go in here. Oh, come on. Ah, nice try. So, what I want to do is try and get Dragon while I have the second buff up. So, let's see if we can do that. And, of course, these little punks. Oh, run away, Lowen! Good job, Lowen. Let me get rid of these dumb little birds that are constantly getting in my way. So me... Oh, so I'll have both skills up and running when I use this, which is perfect. Really, dude? 
Come on. He also is con You're constantly running. Get. All right. I'll use this. And then I'll go here. And then, oh wow, she has a different attack than from her other, from Galamim. I did not know this. All right. Beat him down. I mean, she was able to beat that guy basically single-handedly because Lowen does not give any attack here at all. So I think that's pretty impressive, that right there. So let's go in here. So the main thing that you'll... I've, again, I think that she is obviously best in a team setting because then her team might... I actually think that currently she's actually used in the um, Mercury Gauntlet. She One of the first teams to beat Mercury Gauntlet at level 50 used Halloween Mim. So... That's one of the cases where you'd run a one want to run Halloween Mim over regular Mim is what I tried to say. All right, and let's try Imperial Onslaught. Let's see how this one goes because again, um, this one is where her kind of like susceptibility to stuns kind of get in the way. Excuse me for not being able to say susceptibility very well. So let's go in here and see if she's able to what she's able to do here. Again, these, the reason I show these off is because literally these are the two events you constantly play. There's like no other events you play besides these two. So let's go here. So I think definitely um, something with skill prep would be good for her. Um, something that either gives like her, makes it so her focus attack gives skill prep or she starts with skill prep. Something like that I think would work very well on her. Um, because really, she's all about like boosting the entire team as opposed to like um, just doing it herself. A lot there's a lot of like okay, let's go here. And of course, why is every single boss I'm fighting like okay? He was able to be hit into it, so he gets hit with the minus fifteen percent. Okay, let's see how Lowen's doing. Lowen's doing good because Lowen actually uh, this is his event. Not bad. See, this is what I kind of like about axe units is that there. There we go. Come on, come on, girl. You got this. You got this. Look at this guy. This guy's a chump. All right, I don't want to activate it just yet. Oh, better get out of the way here. Let me try and kill some of these birds so I can activate my dragon ability at the exact same time. No, no. And she's asleep. Okay. No. Damn it. She's asleep. All right, let me take out this bird and see if I can get dragon from this bird. Not bad, not bad. Okay. I'm gonna use that. Then I'm gonna use this. And then I'm gonna use this. So now he's hit with basically the perfect storm as he gets hit by every single thing. Oh, wow. That damage, though. When all of Mim's skills are working at perfect capacity, she basically tears into the enemy like their cardboard. It's not bad. It's honestly not bad at all. All right, then. That's Mim. That's her showcase of her stuff. There you go. Good girl. Yeah. Yeah, look how happy they are. Great team. Okay. Now, it's time for the real question here. I think it's without a doubt that Halloween Mim is an extremely good unit, and if you were able to pull her, then you're basically in luck because... I think she's honestly the best um, fire axe unit in the game currently. No, it's between her and Ramona. So I don't have Ramona, so I can't really... Um, uh, don't let me forget about Ramona. Ramona's an excellent axe unit. Um, Vanessa's also an excellent axe unit. I think she's kind of fallen off a bit in recent times. Now here's another thing where I'm kind of like... Because Mim has the... So she has anti-stun. Um, she has stun resistance. There you go. She's going to be able to be used in HMS and the higher HMSs. And I think I'm actually going to build her towards that because I think that's where she'd kind of work for. But um, that's my kind of feeling. So here's the real competition that Mim has. Is that Mim cannot be run with Mim on the team. So therefore you have to pick between Halloween Mim or uh, Dragon Mim. A Gala Mim. Dragon Mim. Gala Mim. So the answer then, so the question then becomes, when do you want to use one over the other? Yeah, the answer is, I think, is that I think Mim is an extremely, Halloween Mim is an extremely good unit. Um, 
but I think for most people, when they want a straight up attack unit, they want to go uh, with the Galamim. And Galamim is an extremely powerful um, unit. She actually is currently used in HMS, funny enough. Um, so she's definitely one of the units that's used inside there, and she gives HP, and this one gives over crit. So I think the basic idea is that I think for which one do you use, it kind of depends on the situation that you're in. If you are running your fire team, and let's say, let me look at my current fire team, this one right here. So let's say you wanted to run Makoto as your main. I think that would be better to have the support mim in the sidelines because you're not... She's better to work in the sidelines because... What's the best way I of like trying? I'm trying to figure out the best way to sum up my point, which is okay. Here it is. When you're in control, that's when you you're doing the most damage on your team. So if you want to do, you want to get the most damage out of your entire team. I think you have to get Halloween Mim to the sidelines, and then you control the actual main character. That's the thing I want to say. But if you want your actual damaging Sorry, Mim, I would say go with Gala Mim. Both of them are perfectly good units. Both of them can really be used in any fire team. The only thing now is to actually try to just try and decide which one to use. And really, I think I'm kind of going to be... Even though I literally just said, like, if you want an attacking mim, go with the regular mim. Gala mim. Um, but I'm really going to mess around with Halloween mim a little bit more. going to see if I can build her up. Because as much as I like um, uh, regular gala mim, I actually prefer to be kind of in the sidelines helping dudes out. But it's that way, so... That's that's the unit. That is Halloween Mim. She is fantastic. It's a shame that I was not able to pull Mr. Kitty over here and would have been able to show off all the Hippler and new Halloween units, but hey, that's how it goes. Um, now that we're here at the end, I just wanted to say I'm just super happy that I was able to get Halloween Mim. And chances are, if you pulled her, it didn't matter what I said. I could have said Halloween Mim is trash and it would not have stopped people from running her, so there you go. So I hope you have her. I, if you've been using her, like obviously I just got her yesterday, so I haven't had much time, chance to use her. But if you've been using her, you can tell me how she's been with you on your team. Do you prefer to put her on the sidelines, or do you prefer to have actually use her as the main, um, the main unit? Because as I showed here, if she's actually the one in control of the debuffs, you can deal a lot of damage in a very short burst of time, and it's kind of amazing. So tell me what you think. If you liked the video, leave a like. And I will see you guys in the next Dragalia Loss video. So have a good day. Goodbye.